Hello, it's Leslie Pipemaster. Today's tutorial is on handstands, and this is for La Charlita. So I'm going to show you what I know about handstands. I still have a hard time holding the handstand once I'm in it, so I'm just going to be completely honest about that. I'm still practicing. So I'm going to tell you what I know, what I've learned, and there's a class on this channel that shows you how also to work up into a handstand prep. So for handstand prep, I'd love for you to check out beginning handstands class on this channel. This is how to work in toward the jumping up. So one of the things that you can do to help with your handstands is strengthen your core muscles. So I have a tutorial on a couple of things to strengthen the core. So that is a big part of it. There's a few things to keep in mind when you're doing your handstands. One is that when you take your arms up, you want to make sure that these triceps are spinning in toward your face so that you have an external rotation of your arm into the shoulder socket. You don't want to ever put weight on your arms if you're going this way. So you want to always make sure you have that nice external rotation. And then you can kind of feel right here, you might be able to see it, where this um, shoulder socket is about right to here. You want to kind of feel like you're pressing right into it so that it has a nice, uh, nice grip, I guess you could say. So that's one thing. Another thing is you think about your core from here to here. And you want to, I imagine, like a tube of toothpaste. So everything is pressing right into center all the way around. And then the last thing is to be sure that you're squeezing your legs if you do happen to get up and you happen to, to hold. So squeeze the legs together like you're holding a block between your inner thighs and you're pressing the inner thighs and the outer hips all toward the midline. One last thing that I've noticed that sometimes can be helpful as well, I have my hands out and I spread my fingers and when I t put them on the floor, I kind of grip the floor a little bit. So when my fingers are down, I kind of grip like I'm holding onto the floor sometimes for dear life. So here, before you do your handstands, you also want to warm up your shoulders. Make sure you've done some uh, a nice warm up before you go into it. Another thing that's really good to warm up for the handstands is your um, your hamstrings. And the more you can kind of get toward a split, I think the easier it is to tip into the handstand. So I'll show you what I've got. From a down dog, I'm going to step one foot forward. So I'm right-handed, so my right leg is my kicking leg and my left leg is my lifting leg. So as I step this foot forward, I want to get my shoulders right over the wrist and then lift this leg. I'm going to keep my gaze forward and hop and come down. So see how I kind of rolled my outer arms back, try to get the arms right into the shoulder socket and up and come down. And I practice that. And if that's a little daunting to go up that high, you don't have to. You can start right here, lift this leg, hop, and come down. So notice too, when I lift this leg, I'm not externally rotating my hip, my leg in the hip socket. I want to keep my hips nice and neutral. And once I get up there, I'm pressing away from the floor. The other part is to try to press right in between my shoulder blades, too, so that I'm widening that part of my upper back. So I press and lift and come down. It's very, very good to learn how to fall. <laughs> so if you find that you're up there, sometimes it gets you by surprise. You're like, oh, I'm balancing, and then you get a little nervous, and then you want to fall. So if you do need to fall, the best way to fall Ugh, I can't even get up to show you how to fall. <laughs> the best way to fall is to cartwheel off to the side. So I would fall cartwheeling off to the side. If you happen to have a good back bend, you can go right over and land in a back bend. But only if you have a really good Urdhva Dhanurasana or full wheel. The other kind of handstand that you can practice is going up with both legs. And this is, you, you hit Hips stay way up high when you do this one. And I keep my legs kind of connected to my belly. Same idea of lifting the belly. The arms are still in the same position. I'm going to get my shoulders over my wrists a little bit before I go up. I come down low. I keep my, my gaze forward and hop. And come down. And I want to try and keep my belly lifted the whole time. 
All right, one more time. Well, it wasn't up all the way, but you get the idea. If you have a wall, then you have something to shoot for. So maybe go up, tap your feet on the wall, come down. That's a great strengthening exercise. You can hop up, come down, hop up, come down. It's a really good way to get stronger. So I hope that's helpful. And use the wall if you have a wall. If you don't, cartwheel out to fall. Another great place to practice your handstands, if you're close to a beach, got sand, really easy to fall, land in the sand, and then, you know, get hurt. So hopefully that's helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.